Welcome. All praises be to the Lord our God. The Evangelism Ministry theme for the month of December 2021. Celebrate the gift of Jesus, the reason for all seasons. I am Dr. Teresa Scott Woodruff. Let us pray. Lord, help us to focus on the greatest gift of all this season, Jesus. Thank you for who you are, for who he is, and what you have done through him for us. In the mighty, matchless name of Jesus, and for his glory, we pray. Amen. For everything there is a season, and a time for every purpose under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to rend and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. Ecclesiastes chapter 1. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verses 1 through 8. Nothing can or will happen that will be of greater power or truth than the truth that God is with us. The now belongs to God, and so does the future. Secure and perfect, kept in heaven to be revealed at its proper time. Season greetings. Season figuratively expresses the changing stages of our lives as a way of life as we know it according to how God has arranged them. There will be shifts in our lives. Recognize the season you are in right now and that it is God's appointed time for you. Resolve to live within it and live it with purpose and peace. Your moment is not someone else's to live. Whatever the season you find yourself in, this is your time. All seasons of life until eternity until eternal life are part of living out God's plan in our lives. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 reads, To everything there is a season and a time to carry every purpose under the heaven. Every purpose has its appointed time. Respect where others are in their seasons and receive your own trusting that the Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Psalm 121 verse 8. The true meaning of the season. The birth of Jesus holds particularly special meaning for us in that because Jesus overcame, so can we. He was able to live and endure this world in human form, teach and love others, point them to the Father, then conquer death, hell, and the grave. First John 5, 8 states, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead is in you and I. 
Romans chapter 8, verse 11. And in this season, we are reminded that he was born into this world just like us. And we have a hope of a home in heaven, all because our creator loved us so much that he was born in such a lowly fashion. The birth of Jesus. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all of the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quirinius was governor of Syria and all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with a child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room or no place for them in the inn. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Luke chapter 2 verses 1 through 11. Celebrate the gift of Jesus, because Jesus is the living word of God, the Lamb of God, the gate, the name above all names, the only begotten Son of God, the gift of God, the last Adam, the Almighty One, the Holy One, the Alpha and Omega, the author and finisher of our faith, the Son of Man, the chief cornerstone the stone the builders rejected, the deliverer, the almighty God, the good shepherd, the head of the church, the great high priest, the king of the Jews, the king of kings, the king of glory, the man of sorrows, the door, the rock, the root of David, the lamb that was slain, the lamb of God, the horn of salvation, the image of the invisible God, the light of the world, the righteous judge, the mediator, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the Messiah, the one who sets free, the great physician, the bread of life, the living bread, the water of life, the great redeemer, the true vine, the resurrection and the life, the giver of the Holy Spirit, the way, the truth, and the life, the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star, the rose of Sharon, the wonderful counselor, the everlasting father, the prince of peace. Celebrate the gift of Jesus. Jesus is our friend who sticks closer than a brother. Jesus is our doctor in the sick room. Jesus is our lawyer in the courtroom. Jesus is our bread when we are hungry. Jesus is our water when we are thirsty. Jesus is our peace in the midst of the storm. Jesus is our joy when we are sad. Jesus is our hope. Jesus is the anointed one. Jesus is love. Jesus is the Christ, the son of the living God. Jesus is our savior who died upon the cross for our sins, was buried 
and on the third day resurrected from the dead with all power in his hands. And if we put our trust in him, he will give us eternal life. Jesus is the promise fulfilled. Jesus is faithful and true. Jesus is majesty on high. Jesus is omnipotent. Jesus is omnipresent. Jesus is the great I am. Jesus is the sure foundation. Jesus is our high tower. Jesus is the master teacher. Jesus is the anchor of my soul. Jesus is mighty to save. Jesus is the Lord Jehovah, our righteousness. Jesus is Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Jesus is Jehovah Nisi, our battle fighter. Jesus is Jehovah Shalom, our giver of peace. Jesus is Jehovah Rapha, our healer. But what about you? Who do you say Jesus is? That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. Philippians chapter 2, verse 10. God elevated Jesus to the place of highest honor and gave him the name above all names. He is the embodiment of the word of God. The name of Jesus is the summation of God's power and his authority in the universe. And through faith in his name, victory is assured in our battle against Satan and his demons. That is Acts chapter 3, verse 16. Satan responds in obedience to the born-again child of God who has a clear understanding of his or her rights and privileges as he would respond to Jesus Christ. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. The arm of the Lord speaks of his power to deliver and his providential care over every event in our lives. So whose report are you going to listen to? Whose report are you going to internalize? Whose report are you going to respond to? Jesus is for everyone. Jesus came for sinners, the foreigners, the outcasts, the criminals, the despised, the rejected, the imperfect, the sick, the broken, the weak, the weary, the depressed, the needy, and for you. God so loved the world that he sent his only son that Whoever, whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. John 3, 16. He will not reject or despise anyone who turns to him, but freely offers his grace and forgiveness to anyone who believes and accepts it. God continues to choose the unexpected to shine his light to the world, writing a story of healing, hope, and redemption for all to see. It is Jesus and the good news that makes this a season of great joy.
the greatest gift of all. Think about what it is that we have received. To know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior is the greatest thing in all of life experiences. Indeed, in the entire universe, the great blessing that is in your life can be shared with someone else to bring him or her hope. Jesus commands us to tell others of his great salvation. He wants everyone to know about him. He suffered a horrible death so that all of mankind could be reconciled to the Father. The only way for that truth to be known for someone is to tell it. We are that someone. They need to know that Jesus loves them and longs to give them life. He desires to rescue each one from the pit and consequences of sin. We need never fear that we will be left alone to speak for him without support. He will always give us what to say and power to be effective. Our help comes from the Lord the maker of heaven and earth, Psalm 121, verse 2. Jesus transforms lives. The testimony of a changed person is a powerful thing. If you would like to see the most powerful tool of evangelism besides the gospel itself, just look in the mirror. And who do you see? You, of course. You are a living proof of the good news of Jesus Christ. You have been changed by the goodness and mercy of God. You can glorify God and magnify his message by telling others about how he changed you. The word of God says in 1 Peter 2 and 9, But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. You are the only one who can tell your story. No one can adequately describe that wonderful things that have changed in your life since you have surrendered yourself to Christ. It is your story. No one else can tell it. Write out your testimony. In section A, and, and when you start this uh, exercise, this is a time of reflection and probably a time that you have enough time to sit down and really reflect on your life. Section A is life before you became saved. Your testimony of how God's grace and mercy brought you through. Section B, in section B, explain when and how you became saved. Reflect on how you had to go through to get to. And lastly, section C, describe your life since meeting Jesus. Reflect on your faith walk and spiritual growth in the Lord. And then bless someone else's life with your testimony. That's why we are here. Oh, 
Bible School Testimony. Back in the day, in the Baptist Church in the South, they used to have testimony services. I know some of you probably remember that. In this instance, we frame it old school testimony. Fill in the blank. First given blank to God. What goes in the blank? First giving honor to God. Who is the blank of my life? If you'd like to put your comments to the blanks in on on in the comment section of Facebook, you may do so. Who is the blank of my life? Who is the head of my life? I like to say I'm glad to be in the what? In the house of the Lord. One more time. That's how they used to say it back in the day. One more time. Not more, the proper. <laughs> one more time. Because he brought me from a what? He brought me from a what? A mighty long what? A mighty long way. I could have been dead and sleeping in my what? In my, amen, in my grave. But God is what? Now we should get this one all the way through. But God is blank. Good all the what? Okay. All the time. And all the what? All the time. God is what? God is good. He's a what over troubled waters? He's a bridge over troubled waters. He's a He's a mother to the what? The motherless and a blank father to the what? Amen. To the fatherless. Now these go kind of fast, so you all going to have to put your answers in rather quickly because this goes fast. A doctor in a what? A sick room. And a lawyer. I gave you that one for free and a what goes in the blank is lawyer in the courtroom he's the what of the valley the lily of the valley a bright and what kind of star all right shining star he got up early one what day of the week was it what day did he get up early he rose early one Sunday morning. Morning. One Sunday morning. With all power. I gave you another one for free. With all in the blank is power. In his what? In his hands. Pray for me that I what? In the blank. I grow what? Stronger in the Lord. Okay, let's take it from the top. First, giving honor to God, who is the head of my life. I'd like to say I'm glad to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Because he brought me from a mighty long way. I could have been dead sleeping in my grave. But God is good all the time, and all the time, God is good. He's a bridge over troubled waters. He's a mother to the motherless. He's a father to the fatherless. 
a doctor in a sick room, a lawyer in the courtroom. He's the lily of the valley, a bright and shining star. He got up early one Sunday morning with all power in his hands. Pray for me that I grow stronger in the Lord. I know some of you that came up from the South know about that testimony. Amen? And amen goes right there. Because they were doing a lot of hallelujahs and amen during testimony time. Amen. What will you do with your gift? Do you know people who don't have a relationship with Jesus? Do you know people who could use a closer relationship with Jesus? Do you know people who once confessed a relationship with Jesus on the day of their confirmation, but have since walked away? Even though it may seem like they have given up on Jesus, Jesus has not given up on them. Remind them of that. Remind them that they have a loving Savior watching and waiting and wanting to welcome them back with open arms. Jesus is coming back to open heaven's gates for us. Jesus said, and if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. And where I am, there ye may be also. It is John chapter 14, verse 3. Let us pray. Lord, let us not miss the opportunity to celebrate the gift of Jesus, the reason for all seasons. Let us joyfully share your gift and the powerful message of your word with others. We rely on the Holy Spirit to do the rest. Thank you, Lord, for your immeasurable gift. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Celebrate Jesus, the reason for all seasons. Jesus is God's perfect, indescribable gift. Not only are we able to receive his gift, but we are able to share his gift with others, not just for this season, but every day. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the grace of God be with you all. God bless you during this season. Amen, amen, and amen.